Homestead Handyman here. Well, I have my Shapeco 3XXL and I built a table for it and then I wanted to build an enclosure for it. And so I've done mine a little bit differently than uh, a lot of people out there. And I want to show you some of the features and uh, how I went about building it. So let's get started. So what I wanted to have happen was that I was able to have access to the machine inside and uh, be able to stand up in front of it, put myself in there, and be able to take the Shapeco and slide it out if there was an issue with it. And I, so I also built for access on the sides and the back and the top. Now here's what we got going on. We have a bunch of switches. There's one up here. And that is for the light inside. This is an emergency switch and has a light on it that will come on so that I could see that the light's on. And I use this for emergency if I have to kill power to everything, if there's a problem. Down below here is a switch right here that I have for the router that I can turn the router off and on when I'm uh, using it. Up above are some outlets and the power coming in for this whole unit. And so um, I have this all on one separate breaker. As we come back down here, underneath, also powered in, right there is a vacuum. The vacuum comes around and goes down underneath and then goes in. Let's go have a look inside. We'll see that later. Turn the light on now for you. So I built these doors here and they have plexiglass on there. Now these doors, they have a little closer on the top and on the bottom and they just swing open. So now I have full access to get inside here to the machine and it keeps all the dust enclosed. So the vacuum line comes up from here in that orange hose up. I built some little holders for it to come across. Catches over here. Have a little spring on here to give it a little spring as it's moving as the uh, Shapeco is moving around in its axis in the uh, X and Y and then it's attached right down here to the suck it boot right here. I oh I the electricity coming in which is the feed that I showed you the router switch comes over and feeds the unit and this is a flexible cord so it can travel back and forth with the machine. Now the whole machine will slide out if I have to get access to anything uh, serious that I have to get in there and do. Also had this light left over from my kitchen and uh, so I put that in here so I have good light. Now when I go to um, take this vacuum off of here for any reason, I can take it out and then I can hang it up here. So it's up there out of my way when I'm changing bits or, or doing anything else. Also I constructed it out of uh, two by four and then I just ripped them in half across the back uh, just to keep it square. Now what I decided to do was I've seen a lot of people use uh, plywood or MDF is that I went and used uh, one by six boards here. And the reason that I wanted to do something like that and I screwed them in. Let's have a look over here. See they're all screwed in. 
So I have access. I can just unscrew them and get into the side of the machine if I need to do anything. So far I haven't had to do anything, but that was more important for me over here on the control side. So this is tall enough that I can uh, stand in here, uh, put my head in, and I'm six foot one, and just bend down and do whatever I have to do to work on the machine. And then I can sit back and close the doors. Now I imagine I could insulate it for sound, but this is in its own separate room, so I, I can close the door on that. And I have um, a window on the door so that I can just look in here when it's running, checking periodically uh, every two minutes pretty much, and uh, see what's going on. So this has really worked out well. Uh, there's plenty of room to move in here. The vacuum keeps the dust down. I might put some better vacuum system on there, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see. And then it's handy because right over here I have a nice chair, my laptop, everything is handy. And when I'm running it, I can just turn the router switch on. And if I have to jump up and turn the emergency off, light is handy. And all of my router bits. Picked up this little work zone box over at Aldi's. And it works very well for um, keeping all my bits nice and uh, organized here. So that's a little bit about the uh, unit that I built. Let me just stand back. It's in a very small room, so it's hard to show you really well, you know, what it looks like. I will put some dimensions down as to the height and stuff, and you'll see that below in the um, about part. And uh, I hope this is helpful to you guys uh, to see, you know, maybe a different way to build it. Pretty easy to build. Uh, a couple of two by fours and uh, one by six. So I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, if you have any ideas or comments uh, please put them below. Any suggestions how this could be done better um, I'd appreciate it. Alright Homestead Handyman out. Out.